Earlier today, we talked about Donald Trump and his hypocrisy as it pertains to criticizing Joe Biden on the Middle East. That Donald Trump, despite the fact that he wanted to pull troops out months ago, is now on his high horse about how it's a failure for Joe Biden. But I want people to realize that this is a coordinated effort by Trump and his Republican allies and the MAGA movement to rewrite history. And that there's all sorts of evidence right now trying to be deleted by Trump and the Republicans about how they would have done the exact same thing if they were in power. Remember, earlier today I played a video. You can go check it out. It'll be up there where Donald Trump admits, he openly admits that his goal was to move troops out and he would do so. It's been 21 years. And then despite that fact, he knew the country would fall. He knew Afghanistan would fall, but it didn't matter. He felt it was time to go. And honestly, I kind of agree with him. And I think Biden agrees, at least in some part as well. But now they're all trying to say otherwise. Look at this. This says here, Fox News is Bush press secretary and Trump's press secretary and Trump's daughter-in-law on the payroll to explain that what is happening in Afghanistan is 100% Biden's fault. And it isn't. It isn't. I don't think Biden's some sort of hero on this issue, but this is an issue 20 years in the making. And every president since, since Bush, Obama, and Trump, they all own this issue. And so does Biden, both as a senator and as president and as vice president. But let's be really clear. Like, they would have supported this. Donald Trump in May was calling for an exit. And look at this. Dave Weigel, a journalist from Washington Post, found this very interesting little tidbit that proves the Republican Party knew what was going to happen, proves that they were trying to do the same basic thing. But now that it's all going worse than planned, it's going worse than anyone really expected, Republican or Democrat. Now they're trying to delete the evidence. He says here, how quickly can the politics around Afghanistan change? Here's a section on the RNC's website in June. Click it now and you get a 404 error. Rest of page was about the cost of Israel Arab deals. And so this article is like a press release from the Republican Party Central committee about how Donald Trump is meeting with groups in Afghanistan to broker a deal that will end the war there. And this is being pushed as Donald Trump is a deal maker. He's a peacemaker. He wants to bring peace to the region and he is doing it where Obama and Biden failed. And isn't he a great leader for doing all of this? This goes all the way back to when Trump was still president. And lo and behold, as the date gets closer and closer and closer, to Biden pulling out, and now it is looking pretty rough, Republicans are trying to rewrite history. So I want you to share this with people in your circle, because I do think, sadly, that a lot of people are falling for it on this one. You don't have to praise Biden. You can even be critical of Biden on some of his specific strategies on this particular issue. No one here is a winner except for Barbara Lee, who was the only person to vote against the Afghanistan war 20 years ago. So you don't have to pick sides, but do let your friends know that are saying Donald Trump wanted to do better and Joe Biden's messing this up, that if Trump was in power, it would be the same, but likely worse because Trump would have rushed this back in May and the limited things that are getting done would have never gotten done. So don't let people get fooled. Yes, this is a tragedy. Yes, there is suffering. Yes, it could have been done better. But Donald Trump and the Republicans never would have done better.